What degree of scoliosis requires surgery? Now, here we're saying requires. We're saying the person must have the surgery. And this is really a very large curve. Most of the time, there's not going to be any physiological problem associated with scoliosis unless it's quite a large curve. So in a growing child, the medical model says scoliosis surgery should be considered at a 40 to 45 degree curve. I'm not saying I agree with that. I don't. I'm just telling you this is the medical model. In an adult, now that cutoff is 50 to 55 degrees. Again, I'm not saying I agree with that. But the question is why? Why would it jump from 40 to 45 to 50 to 55 in the adult? This is because we're no longer worried about rapid progression in the adult. Rapid progression does not occur in an adult. Yes, it is progressive. It is by its very nature a progressive condition, but the progression rate is quite slow. So 50 to 55 in the adult. My personal feeling is rarely is scoliosis surgery needed. People choose it and they might choose it for a variety of reasons. They don't want to do the exercises, for example. They're looking for an easy way out. They don't maybe like the way things look and we can't completely fix the cosmetic aspect but then they're gonna have a big scar up their back. That's a cosmetic issue. They're gonna have the issues associated with having a major spine surgery. So when is scoliosis surgery necessary? Only in very large curves, and even then, it's oftentimes a choice rather than a need. Thanks for watching. I hope you found all this information helpful. Please subscribe if you'd like to have more information about scoliosis, and don't forget to hit the bell. That'll alert you whenever we publish new information. And if you've got any questions, write them in the comments field, and I'm gonna make sure to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching.